Hello and good day everyone. Welcome to my channel Fixing Knowledge. And today we are talking about top 50 question and answers on deep learning. This is the part 2 of the video. So let's begin. What is the role of regularization in deep learning models? Regularization is a technique used to prevent overfitting by adding a penalty term to the loss function that discourages large weights and complex models. This helps in improving generalization and model performance on unseen data. What is the role of the learning rate in training deep learning models? The learning rate determines how much the model parameters are updated during optimization. It is a critical hyperparameter that affects the convergence speed and accuracy of the model. Explain the concept of data augmentation in deep learning. Data augmentation is a technique used to artificially increase the diversity and size of the training data set by applying random transformations to the input data, such as rotation, scaling, cropping, and flipping. This helps in improving the model's generalization and robustness. What is the role of the loss function in deep learning models? The loss function computes the error between the predicted output and the ground truth labels. During training, the goal is to minimize the loss function to make the model predictions closer to the actual values. Can you explain the concept of vanishing gradients in deep learning models? Vanishing gradients occur when the gradient values become extremely small during back propagation leading to slow or stalled learning in deep neural networks. This can happen in deep networks with many layers due to the chain rule of derivatives amplifying small gradient values in earlier layers. What is the role of an optimizer in training deep learning models? An optimizer is responsible for updating the model parameters during training to minimize the loss function. Popular optimizers include SGD, Stochastic Gradient Descent, Atom, RM's Prop, and Adagrid. Explain the concept of weight initialization in neural networks. Weight initialization is the method of setting initial values for the weights of a neural network. Proper weight initialization can help in training the model faster and more effectively by preventing issues like vanishing or exploding gradients. What is the importance of hyperparameter? Tuning in deep learning. Hyperparameter tuning involves finding the optimal values for hyperparameters that control the training process of a deep learning model. Proper tuning of hyperparameters can significantly impact the model's performance and convergence. What is the role of convolutional layer in a convolutional neural network? A convolutional layer applies filters to the input data to extract features such as edges, textures, or patterns. These features are learned automatically by the network during training to improve the overall performance of the model. What is the purpose of a pooling layer in a CNN? A pooling layer reduces the spatial dimensions of the feature maps generated by the convolutional layers. It helps in making the network more robust to variations in input data and reduces the computational complexity of the model. How does batch normalization help in training deep neural networks? Batch normalization helps in stabilizing and accelerating the training of deep neural networks by normalizing the input to each layer. It helps in reducing internal covariate shift and allows the use of higher learning rates during training. What is data augmentation and why is it used in deep learning? Data augmentation is a technique used to artificially increase the size and diversity of the training data by applying random transformations. It helps in improving the model's generalization and reduces overfitting by exposing the model to a variety of data variations. Explain the trade-off between bias and variance in machine learning models. Bias refers to the error introduced by approximating a complex function with a simple model, while variance refers to the model's sensitivity to fluctuations in the training data. Balancing bias and variance is crucial to achieve good model performance. What is the role of the activation function in a neural network? 
An activation function introduces nonlinearity to the output of a neural network layer, allowing the model to learn complex patterns and make better predictions. Popular activation functions include ReLU, Sigmoid, and TAN. How can you prevent overfitting in deep learning models with limited training data? To prevent overfitting in deep learning models with limited training data, you can use techniques like data augmentation, transfer learning, early stopping, dropout, and regularization. These techniques help in improving the model's ability to generalize to unseen data. What is the difference between a shallow neural network and a deep neural network? A shallow neural network has a small number of layers, while a deep neural network has multiple layers. Deep neural networks can learn complex patterns and features from data due to their increased depth. Explain the concept of gradient descent in training neural networks. Gradient descent is an iterative optimization algorithm used to minimize the loss function by updating the model parameters in the direction of the negative gradient. It helps in finding the optimal set of parameters that minimize the error of the model. How does dropout help in regularization and prevent overfitting in neural networks? Dropout is a regularization technique that randomly drops out neurons during training to prevent them from CO adapting and overfitting to the training data. It helps in improving the generalization of the model and reducing overfitting. What is the role of a learning rate scheduler in deep learning? A learning rate scheduler adjusts the learning rate during training based on certain conditions or predefined schedules. It helps in improving the convergence speed of the model and finding better minima in the loss landscape. How does a gradient vanishing problem affect the training of deep neural networks? The gradient vanishing problem occurs when the gradients become very small as they are backpropagated through many layers in deep neural networks. This can lead to slow convergence, making it difficult to train deep neural networks effectively. What is the difference between a feedforward neural network and a recurrent neural network? In a feedforward neural network, information flows in one direction, from input to output, while in a recurrent neural network, there are connections that allow information to flow in loops, enabling the network to process sequential data. Explain the concept of attention mechanism in deep learning. Attention mechanism is a technique used in deep learning to focus on specific parts of the input data that are relevant to the task at hand. It helps in improving the performance of models on tasks like machine translation and image captioning. How does the ResNet architecture address the problem of vanishing gradients in deep neural networks? ResNet architecture introduces skip connections, also known as residual connections between layers to enable the direct flow of information. This helps in alleviating the vanishing gradient problem and allows for training very deep neural networks. What is the role of a loss function in the training of neural networks? The loss function measures the difference between the model's predicted output and the ground truth labels. It is used to quantify the error of the model's predictions and guide the optimization process during training. How can you choose the appropriate activation function for a neural network? The choice of activation function depends on the nature of the problem and the characteristics of the data. For example, ReLU is a popular choice for most hidden layers, while Sigmoid and Softmax are often used for binary and multi-class classification tasks, respectively. Thank you for giving your time and learning with me on my channel, Fixing Knowledge. Stay tuned to see more learnings coming soon and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.